everybody, Punisher88 here, coming to you live once again with another random haul of geeky goodness. Before I get started, I just want to apologize to everyone to let them know that uh, there is not going to be a weekend update today uh, due to the fact that when I left for work last night, I forgot my book I was going to review. And uh, also, uh, the book I did pick was not chosen by you guys due to the fact that I didn't post any options because I was busy all day and had no time. So I figured I'd make this haul video to kind of make up for it and at least I could say I posted something on Saturday. Sound good? Alright, so let's get to the review. I'm not review. See, I'm, I'm so tuned for, for a review, I forget it's a haul. Let's get to the haul. So first is a title from Image that I've been wanting to check out for a while now and I've heard a lot of good stuff about it and that title is Revival. Now I'm sure there's a lot of people out there or a lot of you guys in the comic book community uh, who are reading this series so I figured now it's my turn. So I'm gonna run off uh, this big chunk of books I got to show you which ones I got. So first off we start with issue number 12 and this is the book I wanted the most because it's a Scotty Young cover and I love Scotty Young stuff so uh, yeah, so issue 12, 13, 14, and I got to admit, a lot of these covers are really nicely done, 15, 16, 17, love this cover, I like the, the winged, uh, I don't know if that's death or it's just supposed to be an angel, just looks really cool. 18, creepy but cool looking. 19, that's a sad one with the dog. Oh, the feels, guys, the feels. Can you tell I don't use that expression very much? <laughs> 20, I like it because she's running with Jesus. That's just funny. 21, and then they didn't have 22 or 23, so then I got issue 24. 25, love this cover, very cool. And issue 26. So I got a nice, nice run of revival. I know they're at issue 27 now. And I think 28 comes out within the next two weeks, I think. And then next I got this from Fubar. Press. Uh, it's a one shot called Fubar Guts and Glory. Uh, I basically got it for this rotted out looking Roman warrior. Just looks really cool. I love this grotesque kind of artwork. I don't know what it is. I just like it. And uh, for those of you who are wondering what Fubar means, uh, it dates back to either World War I or World War II. It's an abbreviated expression that stands for fucked up beyond all recognition. It's true. Google it. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. This I got for a buck. The cover price is 50 cents. I've never seen this before. Uh, I've always wanted a comic with this character in my collection. And this is a Marvel movie special number one of James Bond for your eyes only. Uh, I've seen uh, Marvel movie specials done of Indiana Jones. But as much as I love Indy, I like James Bond more. So, cool little addition to my collection. And then the last part of the comic part of this haul is another series I've wanted to get into for a while. Just never did. Saw this bunch of books and I was like, okay, I'm going to go for it. And this is uh, Batman 66. So I got issue 2. Very cool with the original Mr. Freeze up there, played by Otto Priminger. Then we got issue 5, issue 10, and so far I think this is my favorite cover of this series. Love that you have Mr. Freeze's truck and the dynamic duo riding on the Bat Snowmobile. <laughs> and if you look, it even comes with a sidecar for Robin. Awesome. <laughs> uh, issue 13. 
issue 14. I think this is a close second for favorite cover just because of the Batman mech suit. <laughs> issue 15, Penguin. Issue 16 with Egghead, which was played by the ever so talented Vincent Price, one of the great masters of horror. Issue 18, which is cool because it has Batgirl on it, reading her first appearance comic. And then issue 19, which is the newest issue to come out. So, got some cool reading to do here. I am going to try and fill in the gaps and get the ones I'm missing. Or, even though I have some of the, the early issues, maybe I might get the, the trade just to get a feel for, for the first part of the story. I don't know yet. So, we'll see. Uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Get the trade or continue the hunting for the, the singles. The hunting is kind of fun, though. So anyway, then I mentioned I got two Blu-rays. The first one, I got this at Walmart, and I realized I left the sticker on, but who cares? Um, I find this belongs in any uh, horror fan's collection. And the movie I'm talking about is Army of Darkness. To some, it may be uh, co more comedy than horror, but whatever I just find it belongs in anyone's collection Bruce Campbell he's the man and then the second one I got this I got at uh, Target and they're having a liquidation sale right now because for those of you who live in Canada you guys will know that Target is going out of business and so when they do their liquidation I try and look at what blu-rays are going for cheap and I saw this one it's the collector's uh, edition and I like this movie. When it came out, a lot of people had mixed reviews about it. But I'm, gl I'm glad to have it now in my collection. And it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. When I say it's the collector edition, as you can see by the box, it comes with the individual turtle on it. And there's one for all four. I saw quite a few Donatello. I, got, I saw this one for Mikey. I saw one of, um, who was it? I saw Donatello, Michelangelo. Oh, I saw one of Leonardo, but none of Raphael. And uh, but Mikey's my favorite turtle, so I had to get this one. And the reason why it's so special apparently has added footage, and it comes with the four uh, masks, turtle masks. Well, not actual turtle masks. You know what I mean. So... So yeah, so I picked these up for my, my collection. And then last but not least, I got my Legion Flight Ring. That's right. So now I could go around pretending I'm Booster Gold. I bet you never thought you'd hear everyone, anyone use that comic book character in that sentence. Well, I just did. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed this haul. Uh, it's kind of a quick video, I know, shorter than my usual stuff, but um, yeah, again, sorry that there's no actual review for today, I'll make it up to you guys next week, and uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend, and if you enjoyed this haul, uh, or enjoy haul videos, take a look around my, my channel, uh, give a like, and uh, you know, comment if you feel like it. And before leaving, give uh, give that subscribe button a press, would ya? Alrighty. Um, I know I said last uh, in my last video that the answer to my question from from the last one of what was my first comic I ever bought, uh, I said I would bring it in. But as I mentioned, um, I was in a rush and everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that question stand till Thursday. And when I do my Thursday review, I'll answer I'll answer that question and I'll bring in the, the comic and everything to show you guys. Alrighty. So uh, before this video does end up getting long like usual and I start babbling, I'm going to cut it here and um, once again say hope you guys have a great weekend. Hope you guys get a lot of cool geeky goodies and whatnot. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Alrighty. So, this is Punisher88, signing off. See ya!